Welcome to DJ Raceway. In this episode, I show you how to make guardrails for your track. Okay, unroll your aluminium flashing. This is what we will use to form the guard rails. So take a nice sharp hobby knife because you will need to cut through it and it's like cutting through a, a soft drink can. Take your steel ruler and measure out whatever distance you want for this. I'm just using the ruler for the length. I like to choose about 18 millimeters of width. It seems to give me enough material to form the shape without having too much excess. So measuring 18 mil again, just to keep it square. And we want to make a few passes because uh, we've got a bit of material to cut through. So start off nice and light, just score the material and then you can get a bit more heavy handed with it. And cut the end. And all you have to do is just fold it a couple of times and it'll snap off. Just like that. Not so much down that end, I should have scored that a bit more. Roll up your flashing, put it aside, you don't need it anymore. And here we have our piece of aluminium flashing. I'll just smooth that out a bit. So take your aluminium strip and this is the jig that we use. It's 70 mil by 35 mil pine. And to that I've glued and nailed two four millimeter dowels. And that's not fun at all. This is the 3D filament printed roller assembly. And this is the tool that actually forms the shape of the guardrail. You can see the roller moving freely inside there. So that sits on top and just rolls along the dowels. And as you can see how it forms the shape of the guardrail. So let's get going. So take some masking tape painter's tape, any tape you have. This is just to secure the strip while we roll and get it centered as well as you can. Again, the same with the other end. Some tape, center it as best you can. And I like to flatten it out so there's no high spots or loose spots because that will affect the way it rolls. So place the roller on top and make a few very light passes and you'll see the shape start to form. Once you're happy that it's centered, you can start to apply a bit more pressure and then you can finally give it some really heavy rolls and that will form the shape of the guardrail. The heavier you apply the pressure, the more pronounced the shape. So that should just about do it. So remove the tape and the formed guard rail from the jig. And you'll notice that there will be a prominent bow. You can see that it's lifted off the jig already. And that's because of the pressure applied to one side only. So to counteract that obvious bow, we place it upside down with the middle rib on one of the dowels. And this only requires a very light pass. All you want to do is take the bow out of it. You don't need to reform the shape. So a couple of very light passes. And there's your nice straight guard rail. Completed. 
So to create a variation of the guardrail, there's an easy way to create a street version. So once again, center, tape, flatten it out, secure it. Now we're not going to roll over these two ends. We're gonna leave them flat. So we're lining up the roller just before the tape. Give it a nice light roll, check the other side as well. Now we can go a little bit heavier, working our way, just checking, no bald spot, that's good. Check the other end, all good, don't go over the tape. One more check, no bald spot. Okay, apply a bit of pressure now between the two tape ends, and that's it. Remove the tape, remove the guard roll and the tape. It's got a slight bow, but I'm not gonna bother with that. This is just as a demonstration as to how you can make this variation. You'll see at the ends, they're still flat because we haven't rolled over them. And this is what's going to give our street version its character. Take a screwdriver bit from your drill and simply hold it and roll it around. It's as simple as that. Take the bit out, do the same at the other end. Hold it, roll it around, take the bit, drill bit out. And you can see it's got its street look. Very simple to do.